In certain extreme situations, the law is inadequate. In order to shame its inadequacy, it is necessary to act outside the law, to pursue natural justice. This is not vengeance. Revenge is not a valid motive, it's an emotional response. No, not vengeance. Punishment. Tonight we have a chance to say, yeah, you're right. We're too extreme, we're too wild, we're too out of control, we're too full of our own shit. Or we have a chance to say, hey, fuck you, you're wrong. Fuck you, we're right. Because you have all made it to the dance. Because believe me, this is the dance. Yeah. <laughs> Start the show. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Steel Toe Morning Show. I'm Aaron. That's Johnny. Hey, how you doing? And I got, like I said, I've been very excited on the things I'm working on. I'm really enjoying the backdrop. As you can see with the whiteboard, not my demo is in the lead with 150 bucks, but Los Federales dropped in 100 bucks at the end of the evening show last night. Putting him firmly in second place, and if that holds, which it probably won't, but if it holds, second place gets that RFD uh, steel toe wallet. There you go. And no pen, fifteen fathead with ninety bucks is in third place. So it's really anyone's game. First place this week getting a VIP package. Second place getting one of those steel toe wallets. The third getting five steel toe stickers, and we have something very cool to give away uh, this morning. As we continue to raid the prize closet, I have three full boxes still that I have to look through. Oh, by the way, I fixed this problem. Oh, yay. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's nice. So we have um, we have more prize boxes to go through. And I'm very excited to go through those and because I, I found... I'm trying not to spill all my drinks. But I found a giant stack of stickers... <laughs> April was always telling me she's like I think we're out of stickers and it, there just seemed to be more just everywhere I dig more and more stickers um, also we have uh, I, I think the coolest thing about what I found yesterday and these are up for grabs today so anybody who throws in 10 bucks or more today uh, can have two stickers, and you just send me your address. We'll mail them out today. But for 20 bucks today, the prizes are this, as we continue to empty the prize closet. And we'll get back to the Stoney's gift cards. By the way, Monday night crowd, barely anybody has gotten me their information for the Stoney's gift cards. Uh, yesterday's winners are out, except for Mikey Two Milks. Uh, yesterday's morning's winners are out, uh, and then... Monday, uh, every show but Monday evening, the Monday evening show out certificates are out, but I found these yesterday and these, I hope some of the OGs are very excited. Uh, I'm really pumped. So I found six large bits and subs shirts from the Twitch days. Um, just fucking cool. Um, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about these. I hope you guys are too. Anyone who throws in 20 today is getting one of those sent to them. Uh, anyone who throws in 10 can grab a couple of stickers because as you can see, I've got a shitload of them to throw your way. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, I know that there's a lot. There's uh, well, not a lot. There's one, uh, trolley prison. Wow. The show looks like total shit. I thought this was a pro show. 
Backdrop looks great. It looks awesome. Here's the problem. Number one, camera issue. Yeah. When the hard drive crashed, all of our camera settings went away. So now we've got the marching ants and the shitty quality, and I don't like it. I'm trying to fix that. Uh, I, I already did. Uh, I, I talked to April about maybe coming and helping out because I think if she comes down here and she helps out with it, off camera, of course, uh, I, think, uh, I think she can maybe work her magic on that whole deal. Uh, the other thing is uh, the lighting issue. I want it to be darker like a radio studio. Right. However, as the audience is saying, it's casting shadows, shit like that. We got the diffuse lights yesterday. They fucking suck. Here's our problem. You throw too much light at this, it washes everything out. Mm -hmm. It sucks, especially with the light background now. Yeah. You turn the lights down too much, you got the TVs and everything, and you got a little bit of lighting. I'm taking literally lights out of the ceiling. Because I'm like, this one's an issue, that one's an issue. Have you tried bouncing them? Bouncing them. Yeah, like shine them up at the ceiling so the ceiling shines it down. Oh, you mean the new lights? Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to we'll fuck with it later. Look, man, we're going to fuck with it. I'm going to give everything a shot. I can tell the audience this. I can tell the fans this. I have been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week on nothing but steel toe. It's rewarding. It's enraging at the same time. But I'm working on it for you guys. I really am. So it, I'm going to go to college. It, look, if you want to bitch about it, you can bitch about it. That's fine. If you want to be a dick about it, you can be a dick about it. You probably don't like us anyway. But I, I, I hope that the people who love this show know I'm working my balls off. They know I'm not the most technical guy in the world, but I'm watching every YouTube video, learning what I can. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. That, I'm t that hard drive fucking crashing really as far as my technical prowess goes, really fucked me up because I don't know how to reset any of that shit. So I hope you guys are, uh, I, I hope you're ready for a great show. We do have an awesome one. Thank you so much to uh, Los Federales. At the end of last night's evening show, he dropped a hundred bucks in. So today, and we'd already knocked out that day's goal. And I think like 15 bucks worth of t the morning already. So we're starting at 235 today. Nice. Thank you guys very much for your generosity. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, no pen 15 fathead wants a shirt. He throws in 20 bucks. So no pen 15 is getting one that also puts no pen at 110 in terms of contributions. So he's jumped up into second place on our contribution standings. Los Federales in third with 105. The top dog, Los Federales wanted to know, is not my demo with 150. Box. All right, we're going to go to the chat for a little bit. That's going to knock uh, today's goal down to 215. Thank you guys very much. Shirts and stickers going out to the most generous people today. Thank you. All right, let's check it out. Thank you, mods. You're doing a great job. Uh, Magic 8-Ball says, no, it's not distract distracting at all watching the shadows move on that wall behind you. Ugh. How about, a, okay, then a little patience. I, that's all I'm asking for. I'm asking for a little patience while a guy who's never done this gives it a shot. I think the shows are good. I think the comedy quality you're getting is great. I'm sorry if this radio show casts shadows on the wall. Working on it. Rusty Grammer says, but I know what you were doing there. Oh, uh, Anton Slavic says, it's casting shadows. Wah, wah, get over it. LOL, it's special circumstances. Thank you. I wish that more normal people watched shows on the internet. Certainly more normal people listen to the radio. Right. But I wish we had more Anton Slavic normal people who watch the internet who went, shadows on the wall. Who gives a flying fuck? Like, if it were me and I were watching a show, I would not notice. Just make puppets. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, yeah. we can make little chickens. So, yes. Uh, feeding my chickens. Feed, yeah, I'm just feeding my chickens. That's all I'm doing. Uh, listen, Slick, don't tell me how to bitch, says Hobo Chili Recipe, of course. Um, Hobo Chili also says your technical prowess is based on a fork and spoon concept. See, guys, I'm fat. Uh, Ken Decker says once you get it all figured out, you should be taking pictures and notes of what you do to get to the place where you are happy with it. Um, I was uh, talking with April yesterday, and she did say that she might have that on her phone somewhere. So like I said, 
might get some help on that end. Uh, they're just informing you. No, Officer Krupke, they're not. When it's 5,000 fucking times, it's not informing me. Uh, good old JR says, audio quality is still amazing. That's all I care about. Thank you, buddy. Again, love the normal people. Love, I'm a big fan of normies, as it were. Let's go check out Rumble, and then we'll get, uh, we'll get uh, all set up for today. Uh, very low goal. We hope you guys help us hit it. Tuesday ended up being really easy. We've got those old school steel toe t-shirts available. You throw in 20 bucks. We'll send one out to you today. Anyone who throws in 10 or more is getting stickers. If you want to claim them, claim them. If you don't, don't. That's okay. Cheeseburger Pie says, fuck the shadows. The content is getting better. Packer backer on Rumble. Shadows, who gives a fuck? I agree with that guy. Uh, uh, Mouse says people actually watch. I just listen. That way there's no problem with the video. Problem solved. I think we'll go. be fine. Uh, Anton Slavic says, yes, audio is surprisingly hard to get right and is the most important thing. Think of the early days of YouTube. Yeah. I mean, the audio, awesome. Uh, Rusty Grammar says, over half of us listen on audio only while at work. How many times have you picked apart a movie because of tiny issues, new boot goofing? Uh, Camel Toe with two bucks says, how much for the wallets you mentioned last night? I have not found any more, so I have given them all away. They were 20 yesterday. Uh, the RFID wallets? The RFID wallets. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, like I said, I've been digging through these boxes, and I'm just finding prizes on top of prizes and cool shit, and I'm mm -hmm. like, let's just keep letting them out. You want five and a half inch uh, steel toe stickers? You contribute to this show, 10 bucks. I'll throw two of them in an th uh, envelope for you. Send them your way. Cambodian River Pig says, Dad joke, why can't fish play basketball? I don't know. Why? They're afraid of the net. Oh. You see, the net. See, I would have thought it was because the other team won't get in the water. Oh, <laughs> Because racism. Ha. I get it. Black people play bet. Chip Galloway says, have you ever thought about changing the show name for a full rebrand? Just a thought. No, this is working. Holy shit. We're having some of our easiest weeks we've ever had. This is fucking great. All and we got the buckler back. It's a good time. We got the buckler back. It's fucking old school radio feel. It's awesome. Not only that, I had a fucking hard drive crash on me and I'm trying to recover my settings. That's all. It's not a big deal. I know that the Chip Galloways of the world want to make it a bigger deal because they need it. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry, buddy. It's just not. I'm really excited that I'm taking more of a, more of a hands-on approach to things. I like that I'm learning more shit. I like that the show's improving. I like that the subs are going up. It's great. Uh, Cheeto says, who gives a shit about the shadows? But look at that kick-ass Stoney's logo. I mean, that's what's really important. Uh, T. Jefferson tells Chip Galloway, audio good, transitional periods happen, show is funny, quit your whinging. It is. It really is whinging because uh, I believe as the hound once said, your lips are moving and you're complaining. That means you're whinging. So we'll go with whinging on that end. All right, guys. And also, absolutely uh, taking requests and suggestions on things for the wall. I got the old dad jokes book for everything's kind of an homage to the show. Obviously, Mike Lindell, the buckle shield, the dad jokes from the Oz days, the Jesse Ventura is self explanatory. If you don't understand this reference, you haven't been around long enough. The zap it, awesome. Uh, then, of course, the whiteboard, another self explanatory one. Uh, but we'll just, we're going to keep throwing shit up there. I know the Shooter McGavin picture is going up. Either today or tomorrow, whenever I get, to, whenever I have a break from my shipping. Right. As soon as I get a break from all my shipping and tech work, I'm going to hang that up. And you do all of that while spending time with your children. You better hope not to cross any of those. You'd Dude. hate to ship your kids. I know. I almost did on Monday. <laughs> I almost sent them off to Abu Dhabi like I was Garfield and they were normal. All right. Uh, can you put your Batman outfit up there? Oh, mm. shit. The cowl. Do I have the Batman outfit anymore even? That, that is something I would have to think about. Your son's got it. He's like, I've taken it on. 
Uh, Lab Glass says you could get rid of the mirror I made for you. Oh, dude, the steel toe mirror. I have terrible news about that. I didn't get that in the divorce. Oh. Station got it. Oh. Oh, you think my first divorce I lost show shit? No, I got that all. Fucking, yeah, I was like, okay. No, my first marriage ending did not end in me losing steel toe shit. No, um, they put all my shit out front uh, when I came to pick it up. They didn't let me in the building. And uh, the steel toe mirror was not in there. I know. Fuck it. It sucks a dick, my man. Raz of Chaz with two bucks says, donate for my birthday hangover. Oh, ha that's right. Happy ha birthday. Happy birthday, Raz. Raz of Chaz having a birthday yesterday and uh, apparently not feeling that well. Uh, Honky Tonk Tennessee says, analog backgrounds are greater than digital background green screen hacks. I like, I again, I like the natural shit. I feel there's a place for both, but. Yeah, I don't like. I don't have a problem with the natural thing. I like. I like the natural thing. I. Uh, you know what really is fucking up though is this television. And I made it. I. I turned down the brightness and everything. Mm -hmm. That's definitely one of the light problems. We may have to turn that or something like that. But let's get. Let's get down to it today. Let's go ahead and get to some shit. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Again, very excited about only two fifteen for a goal. If you guys want to chip into that. Please do. We appreciate your contributions. Uh, and, of course, to the largest giver, we've got prizes this week. So very cool. And I've got you, I've got you all keep, uh, kept track of here. And 20 bucks for one of the old school steel toe bits and sub shirts today. And everybody who throws in 10 or more is getting two steel toe stickers. Let's go ahead and catch up with the Trump trial, shall we? Oh, boy. You know, I just like that the media is covering it so fairly. Yeah, you know. It's such a fair trial with uh, one of the people not being allowed to talk about it. Yeah, I really like the fact that Stormy Daniels can go up and testify. And then if she wants to, she can just go talk about it. Afterwards. Yeah, she can go tell everybody exactly what she told them or how she yeah. feels the trial is going. She's allowed to speak without any rules as far as I know. Sure, everyone who's there to testify for the prosecution is allowed to go out and speak their mind and tell everybody what they think. You know who's not allowed to do that? Who? The defendant. Weird. <laughs> the guy whose very freedom is on the line. We can't let him, we can't have him defending himself. Well, it's innocent until proven guilty. No one ever said anything about being vocal. <laughs> He's been found in contempt what? Uh, nine, nine or ten time, times. Ten times? Yeah. And now they're saying, well, we're going to, we're going to be, uh, we're, we're going to be throwing him in jail next time. Really? Are we throwing the guy in jail for for what for to, for talking about for talking about his trial for talking about the thing that could end up taking his freedom away for Christ's sake? And he's not wrong when he comes out and he's like, "There's never been a trial like this. No one's ever done this much to stop a political opponent." He's uh, he's uh, sadly uh, exactly right. He's yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, Easy Money's wife with nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very cool. And we're going to put you on the list for two stickers. Send me your address, and we will mail those out today. Uh, Stormy is allowed to go on The View while Whoopi tongue bathes her as a hero. Yeah, I mean, she can do, again, whatever she wants. Everyone else who's involved in this trial can do whatever they want. Donald Trump goes and talks into a microphone after and goes, this is a bunch of bullshit. Ah, we might throw you in jail for that one. Yeah, fucking stupid. He's not even saying slanderous stuff about the people in the trial. Nothing that you could be like, well, there's no point to this or it's fake news or whatever your excuse will be. He's literally just saying the same thing that most of us with a pair of eyeballs and a brain are thinking. Right. And the, the judge, after he does it, the judge goes, well, you know, we might put you in the hot box to cool you down for a little while. Oh, shit. Well, let, here, let's find out what happened yesterday with Stormy Daniels. Okay. And then we'll see, we'll, we'll go on YouTube and we'll just search Stormy Daniels and we'll see if she was respectful of the trial okay. and respectful of the court and kind of, you know, kept it low key afterwards. Right. Former porn star Stormy Daniels offered... That's always good. That's a good start. Hey, who's your, uh, who's your star witness? Eh, some skank. Former porn star. Don't worry, she's a real upstanding whore. <laughs> That's the other thing. There was, um, I, I think it was when... Tiger Woods was going through his issues and women were coming forward. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Norm MacDonald 
who said, because everyone was like shitting on Tiger Woods and like getting these women's back. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, yeah, thank God we have all of these morally upstanding whores <laughs> that are coming forward. Trump, same thing. It's like you fucked a porn star. You gave her 250 grand to shut the fuck up. And as soon as you became famous enough where she could make millions of dollars off it, she went she and told everybody sang like a canary. And then remember, she lost that lawsuit to Trump. Right. And, and she had to she, pay him money. She had to pay him money. So now she and I think they said at one point before her book came out or it was after her book came out that all the money she's made off of Donald Trump, she's had to now give back. Which I love, which, by the way, doesn't make her bitter and vindictive at all when she takes the stand. Oh, I'm sure. Sure here, it doesn't. Here we go. Jurors sorted and elicit details of an alleged one night stand with Donald Trump two decades ago as his hush money trial continues in New York. The woman at the center of former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial taking the stand, Stormy Daniels, questioned by the prosecution, provided her account of an alleged sexual affair with Trump in 2006. At times, she went into explicit detail about their encounter, prompting challenges by the defense and causing Judge Warren... Hey, hey, Johnny, what? who's this guy? Uh... Uh, isn't that that uh, I would keep wanting to say Anton Scalia? That's a Supreme Court. That judge. is not Anton no, Scalia. That's, uh, he's, that's, uh, uh, he's dead. That's a uh, uh, fucking Scaramucci. Ah, Scaramucci. Oh no, I'm Michael Avenatti I, is one of those damn freaking whoppy names. So Michael Avenatti, wonderful. You know Stormy Daniels' old lawyer, and he was the guy who was going to stick it to Trump. Yeah, and bury him and get rid of him. And this this Trump guy, we're going to get rid of him once and for all. Uh, I believe he's currently in prison. Oh, really? What did he do? Uh, he was shaking down companies for money. Oh. So she surrounds herself with very good people. She makes good decisions. Sean, yeah. Like to strike some. Yes. Of her answers from the record. All of these details that we're learning about, the pajamas, the back and forth, the kind of play-by-play -play in the hotel room, none of it has much legal relevance to the cases and to the charges that the DA is pursuing here. So it's almost like they're just trying to humiliate Donald Trump as he runs for president. And bog him down in court <laughs> proceedings so he can't, you know, tour the country and round up support for being president. It, it's almost like he's really good at doing live events and rallies. Yeah. At getting tens of thousands of people to show up at events so he can talk about how shitty Joe Biden is and garner support for himself. And it's almost like these trials stop him from doing that. It's really, really weird. It's like you guys don't want him to be able to run ads and things, so you bog him down with trials to suck all of his money up in legal fees. You know, and the really strange thing about this is, why would they bring the porn star on to talk about Donald Trump's penis and sexual habits when it has very little legal relevancy to the case? I don't know. I mean, it's mm -hmm. almost... I, I'm starting to get the feeling, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be remarkably out of line. You are. I'm starting to think that this may not be about getting justice or serving the law. Oh, but who's a bub? I know. I'm starting to get. I'm starting to get a little conspiratorial. I I'll take my tinfoil hat off. Uh, th it was funny. I, I saw that Bubba the Love Sponge ended up getting involved in this. Really? Because Stormy Daniels was on Bubba's show in '07 after right. this Trump thing had happened, and you know all the shit that Stormy Daniels is talking now. Mm -hmm. She was not saying when she was on Bubba's show. Really? Oh, yeah. She was like, he's great. You know, he's good in bed. He does well for himself. So on and so forth. Like, And now Bubba, I guess, on his show, is talking about how, like, oh, am I going to be called in to testify on this Trump thing? Like, how good would that be for Bubba? That'd be awesome if he got... I guarantee you he's going to talk to the press afterwards. Yeah. Well, here's what happened. Stormy Daniels said that he had a great cock. But they're going to be capturing headlines for days. Daniel's telling the jury. Almost like that's the point. It's almost like we're trying to sandbag this guy <laughs> with everything we have. Telling the jury that after Trump announced his run for president, she sold the rights to her story to Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, for $130,000 and signed a non-disclosure agreement. Um, as part of this to, to keep the story quiet, they're going to want to talk about... Um, whether she thought that the reason this all came together was to help him win the election. Legal experts agree. No shit. Really? You think that they paid the porn star for her silence so she wouldn't yap in the middle of a really close election? I tell you what, whoever the gumshoe was who figured that one out, give him a raise, give him a detective shield. 
the very least a cookie. Jesus. If you wake him up from his nap. Dude, so we uh, we had a porn star who was maybe, maybe, we don't know, allegedly paid to keep her mouth shut. How is that any worse than having the uh, government quash a news story that your son is a cokehead? I would argue that that one might be worse. Not only that, deny the existence of the laptop that, that, that the information stored on. Yeah. The Stormy Daniels one is interesting because, uh, again, I, I'm not an expert when it comes to the law. I just make snarky jokes about the news. But since when are you not allowed to give someone a couple hundred thousand dollars for their story and make them sign a piece of paper? Like, I, I thought if both, yeah. if both parties are willing to do that, and they both sign on the dotted line, who gives a shit? It's fine. Yeah, uh, why isn't Crowder in prison right now if that's the case? <laughs> How many guys do you think he... No. The testimony could be damaging to Trump, but some question how much it actually ties him to a crime. Prosecutors need to prove Trump falsified business records to cover up the hush money payment. And everyone's saying, oh, gee, that's the fraud. That's what they're trying to get us on. The fact that we call a legal expense a legal expense. Trump, who has... Right, his lawyer facilitated this deal. Yeah, for this woman to sign a thing that says I won't talk a fee about fee for this. an NDA, which by the way, lots of people get paid all the time to sign an NDA. That does sound like a legal expense to me. Yeah. I <laughs> this, this whole thing is insane. They're trying to hang him up on why she signed an NDA. Well, well, no, but she because they didn't want her to talk because they fucked. Yeah, who cares? Again. There's no crime here. Right. Nowhere near as big as, again, using the uh, Justice Department as your own personal Gestapo. Like, yeah, I, yeah. It, it, the, the fact that there's so little here, it, I guess it doesn't surprise me mm -hmm. that in the state of New York they got an indict, indictment for this. This case is the very epitome of that saying, you can indict a ham sandwich <laughs> if you want to. Because this is so straightforward and so cut and dry. Donald Trump got his lawyer, so it could be a legal expense, mm -hmm. got his lawyer to pay this Stormy Daniels money to keep her fucking mouth shut about sucking the president's, or about sucking Trump's dick before he became president. And instead of, you know, like selling that story to Hillary Clinton, for example. Yeah. And then the bitch didn't even keep her mouth shut anyway. Nope. Like, why isn't she, like, she violated a deal, an agreement. That's why she's lost all the money she's made. That's true been forced to appear in the courtroom every weekday but Wednesdays, again voiced his frustration for not being allowed to campaign. I should be out campaigning right now. We're leading in all the polls. I'd like to be campaigning. We'll be leading by a lot more. Trump's defense moved for a mistrial based on Daniel's testimony, which Judge Mershon denied. Of course. Because yeah. if, if this is a completely fair and honest trial, why, why wouldn't? He then that? held Donald Trump in contempt for asking for the mistrial. <laughs> and told Trump that he needs to fuck off for a minute and just let the court do its job. Uh, Cocktiff says, let's talk about our fucked, uh, fucked up economy and country. Never mind, let's worry about a porn star. Uh, the bad luck boy, wait, is that the bad luck boys? Hold on a minute. Is that my Mersh? Go to channel. Is that, it certainly is. Well, wow. You. Mersh with terse words for Johnny. How much does the co-host job pay? Because this dude sucks. Well, how about you get fucked? Mersh doesn't like you, dude. Oh boy, Mersh doesn't like me. I, what am I gonna do? Don't make me. Don't make me get in between the two of you. In between the two of us, I don't give a shit. Me I've been too. fucking putting in a lot of work and helping out and a lot of shit. How much does the Mersh of this job oh. suck? Oh no, I'm fucking pissed. Uh oh. Like, well, oh, you want to just fucking speak, come out at me? You want to come out on at me it. for what? Speak I'm being, on it. I'm not doing good enough for you? Well, too fucking bad. I'm kind of, I don't know, working three jobs, helping a friend out. How about you go fucking suck a dick, you piece of shit? Oh, I'm not entertaining the guy who's so fucking drunk he's still up at five in the morning? Whoopity do. Did you send a rant against someone with whoopity do? Yeah. Because like I said, I've been working a lot. And I am getting sick of people like, oh, this guy's not doing a good enough job. Well, who fucking gives a shit? I'm doing the best I can for everything I've got to do. I've got to do his show three days a week. I got to do my show five days a week. And now I'm DJing two days a week to make fucking ends meet. So how about if you don't like it, you don't fucking watch it. Oh, this dude sucks. Fuck off. I'm giving away old bits and sub shirts today if anyone wants to throw in 20 bucks. 
cleaning out the prize closet and I found some cool shit. Just wanted to just wanted to give you guys something nice. <laughs> Balls and wieners, okay, psycho. No, that's um. You pay five monies, just you, five monies. You pay five dollars. Did, did, did they pay five monies, dude? Like I said, I'm getting fucking. Just here, we're gonna let you vent. We're gonna let you. This is what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you leaving? You taking a break? Yeah. Holy shit! For those of you who like the old school radio stuff. That was a moment. Thanks a lot, Mersh, you fucking dick. Bad Luck Boy says, I commend your work ethic, but you suck. He's come back and yell at you again. Gonna fuck your shit up. You know, I, got, I gotta be honest with you. I like to see my guys fired up like that. I don't like to see... Like, again... I don't mind if people say I suck. I don't mind if people say anything sucks. I just, you know, whatever. But for some people, like Johnny said, you know, working his fucking balls off, you know, trying to trying to keep her going, and then someone just tells him, throws in five bucks and says he sucks, that's going to upset him. As a host, I'm torn because I want to see my friend uh, happy but I also want to run a show where we can delve into something like this and see where it can go. Thank you, bad luck boys, for the $7. I appreciate it. Let's go to the phones. Hello there. What can I do for you? Hey, man. I just wanted to ask, like, you can tell us that it's none of our fucking business, but would you just, like, tell your audience if April has been living in your home? Of, of course. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even know why that's a thing. That's like the thing where people go, she hasn't been seen. Yes, she's. Been, I can promise you, she's been seen. I can give you eyewitness accounts that she's been seen, dude. You gotta. Sorry, I gotta. Man. I get. Then fuck the haters, brother. I gotta tell you this, dude. You gotta chill out on people's personal shit. It it makes you look weird. No, I I get no. it, and that's the nature of commentary. But yeah, yeah, that's all I wanted to know. All Appreciate right. you, brother. All right, thank you. See you, man. Yeah, you gotta. You people. I don't. I don't know what it is. But you got it when people say, hey, this person wants to be not involved with shit. Let them be not involved with shit. All right? Just relax. Uh, five bucks from the Bad Luck Boys says, do you hire and or hump people who aren't softer than toilet paper? Now, buddy, why? Why? First of all, come on by before Night Wave some night and watch Matt. He's like a goddamn punching pillow. You can fuck him up. Oh, boy. Today got weird. I still got to get this camera all figured out, too. After my hard drive crashed, I got my camera back on default settings, and it fucking stinks. And now I got to deal with this horse shit. I, uh... Yeah, Poignant Packy Durham says, April has been seen. Stop being mean to Johnny. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Uh, on the other hand, taking Mersh that seriously is a folly. Uh, Mrs. Portland says, I didn't like Johnny at first, but he grew on me a lot. I hope he comes back. Well, look, he came back. Look it. Mrs. Portland, ask and you shall receive. Uh, by the way, even two hundo away from today and uh, 30 minutes of overtime. Can you believe all this excitement? We're only a half hour into today's show. Anybody who wants to call me as soft as a piece of fucking paper, I dare you to live my life for one fucking day. You'd blow your brains out. He said toilet paper, not toilet paper. paper. Oh, boy, I didn't quote the fucking drunk cat lover, right? Fuck me. Drunk cat lover. Hold on. Yeah, it checks out. Yeah, it checks out. I've had one stream where I passed out. We had to turn it off. How many do we have with him going crazy? Oh, I don't know. We don't keep it up. Okay. I can't even speak straight now. It's, I really. <sighs> speak on it, son. The floor is yours. I'm just, I'm sick of this shit. I'm working yeah. too much. I, I have to you. do two DJ gigs next week. I found out last fucking week. I can't, but, and then people are like, oh, you suck. Well, then you come fucking do this shit for the amount of money I get, for the amount of time I put in. You suck. I don't get to fucking sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking, look, one thing I definitely miss uh, about radio is that you get to deal with, you know, 
real people. There's certain lines. People don't cross them. They don't. Uh... And I'm not pissed because Mersh is saying I suck. I'm pissed because I'm sick of the I suck comments. It's a fucking balloon that I've been keeping shut. And I'm saying like, oh, you suck. You guys don't fucking do this shit. You don't get up every day and do this. You don't do the fucking shows here. Then go home and prep a show and do another show. Here, here's what I here's what I don't understand about and and I've I've had this talk with April too, and I'll have this talk with you, and I'll probably have this talk. I've had this talk with Corey. I've had this talk with everybody. If I'm pleased with your performance, and uh, certainly you know you're going to get you're getting more money now. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm pleased with your performance. Why does it matter what Mersh says? For the most part, it doesn't. But then when someone pays $5 to make you say it, like that's the thing. I have uh, subreddits. Yeah. And uh, different websites and all these things that not only talk about the fact that I suck fucking cock all the time, that I'm fucking terrible. Right. Uh, I, I mean, the, these are places that uh, I'm, I'm getting divorced and April's dead or April's not in the house or... Uh, oh, here's one from the last six months. Nick Ricada and I are fucking each other. Right. Uh, is one I've read over and over. Uh, fucking each other's wives. Uh, fucking this person. Fuck Gino, Keanu, fucking them. All day long, just apparently I'm slaying pussy. Uh, and, and April's doing this and April's doing that. I, I just... It, at some point, and I, I don't know, maybe I'm just... Maybe I've been doing this too long... At some point, it all just becomes noise, and it doesn't matter. So I guess what I ask, what I ask Corey, what I ask April, and April and I have had fights over this, 100%. Why, uh, why can't people, and, and I'm not blaming you, no, I'm, I'm not, why can't people let it go? Like I said, it's just, it's been something i deal with like literally on my show i know i don't do as well as other people my shows don't do as well i don't get the viewers other people have but like i just i try to just do a fun show if you don't want to be part of it fine but people come in and say i suck there they say i suck here it's just like i don't i'm barely getting by and i'm getting tired of people feel feeling like no one wants me around to do it like fucking jesus man but again, I want you around to do it. You've been right. uh, a fucking soldier the entire time. I'm happy with your performance. And for some of these people, it's part of the sport to come in and see if they can uh, fuck you up a little bit, which yeah. is shitty, but it's, it's part of the game. Like I said, I'm just, I need a break. I just like to say I'm not fucking Nick Ricada in the ass. Mouth or any other orifice, as it were. Uh, look, man, I I'll tell you this. If you ever need a break, of course you have a break. Nobody here has ever asked for a break and not gotten one. Nobody's ever needed a minute, and I've said, no! You know, April comes to me, she said, it's, and honestly, April came to me, and I, kind and I noticed it as well, and it was internet rumors, internet shit, this, that, the other thing. Um, I can't take it anymore. You know, I can't handle it. It's having a detrimental effect on my mental health. And I said, for God's sake, honey, don't do the show. If, that, if that's what it's costing you, do not do the show. I, I don't value you as a co-host the way I do as a partner or anything else. Same thing with you. Same thing with Corey. I don't value you people as entertainers, workers, broadcasters, whatever, as much as I do as, as friends. And I don't want to see this uh, break anybody. And, and certainly, look, the stress you're feeling is stress that I felt as well. Uh, with this show going through changes and it caused and it causing, you know, issue. I mean, for years, I mean, since the Zumok stuff, it's caused strife in my personal life. It's caused strife in my professional life. And it's it's a road I've had to navigate. I mean, you could argue that really since the start of my radio career navigating what I do on this show and how it affects my personal life has been one of the most difficult things in any relationship I've ever had. But I will say this, the moment you just let go and you understand I'm good at what I do, I, I do a, a great job, fuck these people if they don't like me. And then kind of learn to either, either lean in and shit on them back because these aren't people, look, it's not like you have Stanford graduate scholars who are analyzing your performance and going, well, based on the Stern scale of, 
of good broadcasting. Uh, his score is shit. These are retards who live to say everything sucks. Yeah, except my brain is breaking more and more. And then the more I try to fight him, the more I sound stupid and retarded because I can't even keep my thoughts together anymore. I haven't smoked any weed today just so that way my brain would maybe work a little bit better. And I just, like I said, I get hung up on stuff and I'm tired of you suck. Why is this guy here? This guy sucks. I hate this guy. And then I'm doing that every day to come in to do this stuff. Like I said, I haven't gotten any sleep. I came in to do the show today and then just, here's five bucks. This guy sucks. How much does the the gig pay? Nobody would do the gig for the amount of money I've been getting for the last few months. Nobody would. My son would. Well, yeah. He loves me. But he also thinks there's a coyote outside. Well, so. did sometimes, well you know, one day when there's a fucking coyote outside, you're all going to be happy that he warned you. Jon Snow said that the army of the dead was coming. Nobody believed him. I wish Jor- I bet Jorah Mormont wishes he would have fucking taken that a little more seriously. But he can't. You know why? Because Game of Thrones isn't real and Ian Glenn is just an actor. That's all. I'm in the Anthony Cumia role. Shut up, Mersh. I'm in the Anthony Cumia role of making jokes. Look, you do, a, you do an awesome job. And if you, how many times have you called me and said, I'm not feeling well this morning. I won't be in. And I've gone, we're going to be fine. Yeah. We're okay. It's all right. I've got plenty of people that we can either have at a moment's notice. Like, you know, Gino and Keanu have been incredible with their time. Yeah. And you know that. I already texted you that next week you should probably have AP on. Wednesday. Yeah, we might have AP on on Wednesday. Might have Corey on on Wednesday. Who knows? He won't do it because there's no money. I offered him some money. Well, trying to get, I'm trying to take some of our savings uh, that we're going to be seeing here in the next month, and I'm trying to uh, put it back into the show while also dropping the goal for people, which is uh, both are nice. But I, I tell you what, man, I think you're doing a great job. I have fun doing shows with you. And just because, and, and I, I like him too, just because Mersh doesn't think you're doing a good job, I, I don't think that means that you suck. I don't, it's, I'm not saying that I suck because Mersh thinks I'm doing a bad job. I'm saying I'm struggling to get by doing all the work I'm doing. And yeah. then when I do that and it's just, oh, you suck. Like, okay, well, awesome. I can skip those comments most of the time. I get them on my show. I skip them most of the time. But it's, again, it's just filtering it down the line, down the line, and down the line. And then a paid comment highlighted. Like, you can tell it's on the screen. And I, I, and I apologize. Ignore. I do have to read them. I know. I'm I sorry don't, about I don't that have part. a problem with that. But, again, it's just the fact that he literally threw in $5 just to go, hey, so you have to say it, Johnny sucks. Like, again, then you come fucking do this show. Do you know how much Reddit would explode with hatred and you guys are the fucking worst and we want you all to die if Mersh and I did a show together? But he wouldn't. Two of the most hated people. Nightwave and Steel Toe team up. It would be a chat full of people going, you want some coleslaw, you big-titted fags? It's just my impression of what that show might sound like. Okay. Should we get to some of these? People are being very generous and very nice. Yeah, you should get to that. Two bucks from Raz of Chaz says, we have to know, has April been eating ham sandwiches? More of a turkey gal. Uh, bad luck, but you don't have to respond to these if you don't want to, but you're more than welcome to. Uh, bad luck, boys, says, uh, challenge accepted. I never went crazy that often. I love cats. You're angry, less bangable April. I thought April did a wonderful job. Well, I should think I'm less bangable. I'm a dude. Really? Yeah. If Mersh was all, if Mersh, I heard Mersh was a poon hound. I didn't realize he'd park it in anything warm and alive. I thought he said he wasn't a poon hound anymore. Well, but I'm just saying, like you're less, you're less bangable, April. Well, by your very definition of you're into women, I should hope I'm less bangable. That part is self-explanatory. See, now a lot of people saying Johnny kicks ass. Ken says Johnny K completely understand, dude. You have a right. Take a break, brother. There you go. Bad luck, boys, with two bucks says, I get up and do it every day. You suck. See, now, uh, is this immersion therapy? Like, that's like the fourth time he said you suck. It's got to, like, not even sting anymore. No, no, no. He's saying I get up and do the show every day, and people come at me, like, doing all that. I'm saying all of the you suck comments. I'm saying go do everything I have to do every day. Yeah. Like, go do a show, and then go to a hospital appointment. Then go do another show. Then go deal with everything else you have to deal with. Then 
to try and figure out how you're going to pay all your bills. Like, do all of that and then have people screaming you suck constantly. You're going to get pissed off eventually, too. Yeah, I, so, don't, I don't think I could throw the hospital appointments in there. Yeah. Everything else, I've spun those plates. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the hospital appointment doesn't sound fun. Uh, I watch Johnny's show, says Officer Krupke. I like it. Yeah, and not a lot of people do, and I get it. Like, I'm not the most popular person. I don't have the same draw everyone else is. I've made my peace with all of that, but the whole, like I said, I'm just sick of the you suck part, and now he's just going to keep doing it because he has nothing else to do. So, oh, you suck. I do shows too. You suck. Like, yeah, you do shows. You have more viewers. You have more haters, all of that stuff. You're also probably more successful. You also probably don't have half the medical issues I do or half the other problems I do in my personal life, which makes it, again, just kind of a dick move to just be like, hey, I want to just fuck around, so here, you suck. It's really where all this came from. Yep. Crunchy cynicism, these pathetic attention whores are jealous of you and would kill to be in your position, Johnny. You are awesome and hilarious and the strongest person I know. That's the biggest pile of shit I've Put ever Put yourself first. Love you. I appreciate the, um, the positive part. Nobody would want to be in my position. Uh, posterior attention, get me your information. I will set you up with one of those old school steel toe t-shirts. Thank you for the 1999. He says for Johnny. That's where you say thank you. Thanks. Uh, Tom Thompson says you don't suck, Johnny. Now let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Naturally, if someone says you suck and then someone says you don't suck, do you let those cancel out or do you have comedian brain where you only see the bad one? No, I see them both. Okay. See, now that should cancel out. That's why when I do my show, I don't give a shit what people say because I got plenty of people that are there to see my show. Los Federales says, guys, let's get Johnny some money. That doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world. Uh, jo Clarissa Judge says, Johnny is objectively far more talented and funny than Mersh, and that's not just me batting for the hometown guy. It's a verified fact. Uh, Mersh has an audience by default as a leader of the incel Spurks. Well, see, now I'm in an odd position because I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm not a, a big Revenge of the Sis fan or I don't like a good Nightwave clip here and there. But Johnny's my guy, and I think Johnny does a great job. And if other people... Here's what I think. As the host of the show, it only matters if I suck or not. As far as the co-host goes, it doesn't matter if you think he sucks or not. It matters if I think he sucks or not. And if I don't think he sucks, then it really shouldn't matter. Uh, Tony with 10 bucks says, Johnny, you're my favorite co-host. I'm being dead serious. Well, at this point, I'm almost the only one. I mean, like, I'm my favorite. Johnny, Matt, Keanu, Gino. We've got as many co-hosts as we've ever had. Yeah, I know. I'm being a dick. You fucking ass. I was the one on your side during this whole thing. Yeah. No. Now you're shitting on the fact that my staff is rotting away. Uh, FTW Nil with five bucks says, F those people, Johnny. You are loved by a lot of us, bro. I appreciate that. You all right? No. You want to work through this or you want to uh, take, what do you want to do here? I'm good. I just need a minute. All right. Uh, 199 from Chip Galloway. Somebody got rid of it. Thank you uh, for whatever you said. Uh, two bucks from the Bad Luck Boys. April is more of a man than Johnny. See, I don't think this is helping. I don't think that's a good thing to write uh nine nine ninety nine or i'm sorry ten bucks from reichs marshall klaus barbie which is one of the greatest names ever strictly for johnny he says uh mrs portland says mersh is a bad luck boy because he has shitty karma go to hell mersh you know i don't can't i don't mean to be this but can't we all just be nice to each other can't we all just be kind? Oh, Mersh can't now. He started the bit. He can't I, I mean, can't, can't we all just be nice? It's my show, for God's sake, and I'm a spectator in it now. Uh, now, Magic 8-Ball calling them the gay luck boys. I don't know why we need to drag the cats into this. I don't understand. Two bucks from uh, Trucker18Wheeler. He says, F Mersh. Well, that's, that's uh, his opinion. Uh, Vicky, Vici Small Wonder says, Johnny, you're good. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. That's that's very, very nice. Like I said, it's just, I've been just sick of it. By the way, watch this all get addressed today on Just Kidding LLC. Nope. Uh, oh, no? No show today? 
I'm too tired. Okay. All right. Sorry. Just was doing a funny thing. I get it. But I didn't know you weren't having a show. I just decided that today. I just can't do it. Take a break, man. It's all right. Take yourself a little break. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, 10 bucks from Anton Slavic says, Mersh is a loser post-turtle. F him. Love you, Johnny. How's that? Bad luck, boys. Uh, with five bucks, says, guys, he hasn't smoked weed today. He can't come in and get paid to sit down and be funny. It's basically Fallujah. Now, Mersh, honest to Christ, man. It's, I think it's enough. I think we're good. I think, I think we got it. I think we understand. Uh, five bucks from Tony says, I know I talk shit, but if you, I didn't like you, I wouldn't waste time talking shit. I treat the people of this show like I treat my siblings. You have the most unlucky siblings in the history of the world, sir. Uh, <laughs> Vici Small Wonder with 199. Johnny, I like you. I hate Aaron, but I like you. Thanks. I appreciate that. Very nice. Uh, everyone wants to calm down and go for a fish lunch. Oh, uh, shit. Dr. Silverwolf with five bucks says, Johnny, when you first started on the radio, I was unsure about you. You quickly became the best second mic Aaron ever had and are a hilarious dude. There's that. Mm. Uh, Mersh with five bucks. See, I want you two to address this and get this all cleaned up. Honestly, I did it as a funny troll. Then you cried like literally the first time. How do I not hone in on that? Like I said, he managed to pick at something that's bothering me yeah. because I have a lot of issues to deal with. And like I said, I have to fucking struggle to walk in here to do this stuff. So he managed to set me off. And I'm not mad at him for honing in on it. Like I said, he started a bit and he's doing it. He's going to keep going with it. That part doesn't bother me. That part makes total sense. I don't have a problem with any of that. Like I said, the problem is I'm now emotional. That part I can't undo. And... It's just, it's a lot to physically do all of this stuff, and my body isn't handling it well. And again, I think you do a fantastic job. I think you do great. And I, I will say this. It's difficult for me as a show host to, because I have to make something out of this. Right. You understand? I don't care about that. And it's hard to watch people struggle. It, it's hard to watch uh, people have a hard time and... It's difficult for me because, uh, you know, I see what I get. Well, I, I really don't see what I get on a daily basis. But I hear about what I get on a daily basis, and I go, eh, you know, fucking continue on. I get Keep some on going. of that, but I also have the problem of literally I have to deal with a situation that's... Your health. Yeah. yeah. I mean, having multiple sclerosis, I can't imagine how terrible that is. Yeah, and, and it's in a bad spot. You wish that... We all wish that the way people were was better. We all wish the way people were would. It, it shouldn't take someone having an issue on a radio show, on a broadcast, for people to go, wow, maybe we sh really shouldn't try to taunt the person with multiple sclerosis who's trying to do professional broadcasting. You wish we didn't live in a world like that. But this is probably why Jesus should come back. And we should probably call it on the whole thing. Dude, one of the oldest fans of this show is my legs work fine. I've been getting taunted about it the whole time. That's not the, the issue is it's just, it's not going well. And it's just, it's a lot to do all of it. And it's just coming together. And he said something that set it up. Uh, Alfred Buschetti says there is uh, something infinitely hilarious about Mooby's co- Oh, Mooby, I get like man boobs. You mean the nickname that a 500-pound man came up with for someone who's 6'4", 215? That's hilarious. Uh, uh, Co-host having a complete breakdown next to him while he trucks on with his radio show. How long have Johnny and I done this show together? Yeah, it's not even the first time. I've this is what you do, stupid. Uh, five bucks from Reich's Marshal Klaus Barbie says, ban Mersh. Nah. I, look, I agree with Johnny. I agree with Mersh. Mersh came in. He busted balls a little bit. What happened was... Johnny, it hit Johnny the right way. It happens to all of us. It hit Johnny the right way this time. And it ended up, you know, it, like I said, it ended up hitting. I don't even think Johnny's that upset with Mersh. Not really. Like I, I said, he set me off. His other comments haven't bothered me because, like I said, those ones make sense. For the type of show he does, the type of person he is, the type of show we do, the type of show we've built. Like, yeah, no, that makes sense. 
I I knew coming back, like, oh, I'm going to come back, and now he's going to be like, I'm sorry, dude. Like, no, I'm not fucking stupid. Uh, Bad Luck Boys with 10 bucks says, Aaron is to co-host what Anthony Cumia is to underage girls. He can't get off if he isn't taking advantage of a mental and or physical child. P.S. Tim Thompson has MS and is also funny. Do better. See, now I feel like at some point this just becomes like desensitization. Uh, Camel Toe with five bucks says, Johnny, we love you. You have to smoke a little smoke to feel better and get past the emotions. This is coming from a pothead. Thank you, Camel Toe. All right, let's add all this up and see where, uh, where all this got us. I got to see how much I have to knock off here. Uh, 30, 50, 60, 70. Oh, my God. 80 bucks. 110 away from today. Thank you guys very much for your support. We appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's be done with this. I know some people are uncomfortable. They're saying, Aaron, you shouldn't do this. Aaron, you shouldn't do that. Aaron, you should. I do a show. This is what's going on with my show. What do you want from me? Kayla, thank you very much for the 20 bucks over on PayPal. Very kind of you. Thank you for your support. Uh, 90 bucks away from this morning. We appreciate it. See, I agree with Cambodian River Pig. Uh, Cambodian River Pig says, it's okay, Johnny. Let it all out. Let the pain out. Your emotions are valid. I've, I've found for myself personally that when you're going through shit off the air and it's bothering you on the air, get it out and long-term you're going to feel better. Uh, I could be wrong for you. Um, I could be wrong for, for April. I could be wrong for... I know I'm not wrong for Corey. I know Corey's kind of the same way. Um, but I, I just, for myself and my broadcasting career in general, even when I was broadcasting on a 500-watt AM station in Litchfield, I knew that if something was bothering me, and it was hindering me on the air, it had to come out, no matter how it came out. And I've cried on the air before. You know, I've, uh, with this audience, I've gone through... I don't give a shit about crying in front of people. It's not a big deal to me. I can't control it. It's not a... It's a whatever. I mean, when April left the show, that was incredibly hard for me. Uh, not only because I really enjoyed uh, doing shows with her, uh, but I was really upset that people took this beautiful person who had this thing they loved doing and they stole it from her. And I hated that. And uh, it, it really, uh, I, I don't know, it just, it really upset me too. And when I talked about it on the air, I teared up a little bit. So. Yeah, well, like I said, it's, uh, I'm on my last medication my body's getting overworked from all the shit I'm doing, and I have a five-year-old daughter. So if I have one more relapse, it could be fatal. I'm literally doing everything I can to push my body, but that's breaking it. So it's just very stressful. All right. Let's, um, let's, we're not going to do any more of this stuff. We're going to let, uh, I think Johnny got it out. And I think we're good. Internet person with five bucks says, this is for Johnny. I'm not a Steel Toe fan, but I've always respected Johnny, and I can tell he's a good man. Merce should focus on his own problems. Uh, Tony with five bucks says, we all have breakdowns. It's almost like we're all humans. And look, it, I, the, the weirdest, the goofiest shit will fuck me up on a daily basis, on a regular basis. The weirdest shit will fuck me up. You know, I'm like I, I'm like a high school girl when I'm not on the show. It could be a song. It could be a picture. It could be, you know, whatever. It could be anything. It'll set me off. So I get it. I understand. Let's, uh, let's move on and do a great program today. Thank you very much. Mersh, I'm going to read this last one and then I'm done. I mean it. I like you. I do. I'm a big fan of your shows. It's enough. Two bucks, Johnny's crying is the funniest shit ever. We're yeah, good now. That says a lot about you. You're, we're done. I know, I know. Look, good radio, this and that. I've been, I've been doing this an awful long time. But we're done now. Uh, I wanted to talk about... Uh, can we talk about boner pills now? Like, yeah. It's, it's going to be a weird transition to go right to boner pills. To go, go right to hymns. Mm-hmm. Uh, off of that but we did talk about this yesterday about how the hymns guy shit on israel 
Right. And then everyone wanted him to die. Mm -hmm. And then he had to come out and go, well, I didn't mean Israel, Israel. I meant, you know, the, uh, you know, some of the stuff Israel. Like he walked it back because people weren't going to get boners anymore. Yeah, but he's a Palestinian American. He was so proud of that part. As a Palestinian yeah. American, he had to fight for them. As a Palestinian American, I will hire anyone who got... his whole thing was. It was such a dumb fucking uh, fire ant nest to stick your foot into. He goes, as a Palestinian American, I'll hire anyone who was arrested for protesting on behalf of Palestine at these colleges. Now, if you took a look at any of these motherfuckers at these Palestinian protests, they're not going to be the most productive employees. Right. I don't. I don't know if Hims is going to be the place for these protesters. Do you want? Do you want to hang in there? Or do you want to take a few minutes? You want to go rest up? Yeah. Why don't you do that? I don't want you to force yourself to fight through something. Go.